few links between these football clubs as Salford City meet Manchester United in the EFL Trophy. No chance of Salford repeating their success of 2019 in this competition. On the final at Wembley beating Portsmouth on penalties. Neil Woodside already eliminated after losing both of their opening two games. Manchester United still have a chance to qualify is out of their hands. Two points behind Stockport in the standings. But Stockport still to play Bolton on the 14th of November. Here. For Manchester United. Looked into the front post, the header takes it to the back. Manchester United will have another corner hit. He was at four Manchester United in their last game in this competition, beaten 8-1 at Bolton. He saw the beat in the competition a couple of seasons ago. Manchester United winning on that occasion. Six goals to nil. Here comes the corner. Deep delivery to the back post, the header down, and it's fumbled by Joe Wright. A chance here to open the scoring, which is taken by Shola Shortire. Just seven minutes played. And this young Manchester United team take the lead. Should have done better with the header should Joe Wright. But the ball just worked back by Kopi Mainu to find Shola Shortaya. And makes it 1-0 to Manchester United. James Bennett. Bump it forwards. Given away, picked up by De Costa. Want to run into here? Just go alone, indeed he does. It's a lovely finish by Conor McElhaney. And Salford are back level here this evening. His first goal since the middle of August. Dumb possession inside his own half. Guala backed off and backed off, and then McElhaney with the room to measure the strike, and he finds the bottom corner. It's Fawcett. Manchester United's goal in that thumping against Bolton. In the previous game in this competition, and again, possession is given away cheaply. Matty Lump, he might go for it as well, indeed he does! And Salford have got themselves into the lead. Similar to Conor McElhaney's goal, he just picked up possession and kept on running. Manchester United backing off again. Kambwala backing off to the edge of his area, no pressure on Lund at all. It's a good response by Salford since falling behind. Position picked up by Lund. Chance here to add a third goal straight at the keeper. Should have made much more of that. Liam Humbles. Really presentable opportunity all alone inside the penalty area. strikes in the EFL Trophy once again and we're level at 2-2 two -two. the space on the edge of the area and it took that deflection which deceived Joe Wright which way will this game turn next Far side. Into the Manchester United players pouring forwards here. It's hit first time and it's hit wonderfully well into the corner. 
And it's your tire again, his second of the night. And Manchester United are back into the lead. Here. There was appeals for a penalty. Shortire wasn't hanging around. A fine hit into the far corner, out of the reach of Bright. Back from behind once again in this match. Looking to extend their lead here. Somebody out, the trickery. Has he got an end product? It almost snuck in. Had options waiting inside the penalty area, but he opted to go alone. Took him down here. So to, to get something from this game. A reminder if they can get level in it, finishes that way. After 19, he would go to a penalty shootout. Now, is that a handball? Indeed it is. David Rock points to the spot. Nathan Ennis, guilty party. So, Matty Lund has already got one tonight. Three minutes left to play, and he gets his second to level it up once again. Confidently put away. And as things stand, a penalty shootout. One forwards first time. Chance on over on that far side. Worked by Mike. And can he pick somebody out? He rolls it back, and there was nobody there. Short tight. So into the tight situation on the touchline. Both sides trying to get this game won, and it's opening up here for Gore. Options left and right. It's still Gore, who could go alone. Deflected behind. The other side want to hang around and let this one go to a penalty shootout. Vital block. Very tight. Looking for stoppage time here. End to end action. And now it's Salford's turn to have a go. Being urged forwards. And Mike into the area. The challenge comes in. It's another penalty. And Salford will have the chance to win this game. Luamba brought down. So much space in behind with both teams seeking to win this game in the 90. It's going to be Nancy Lund again for the hat trick. And he buries it once again. And surely Salford will win this game. Matty Lund with a match ball to take home. Brilliant penalty. It can be just seconds remaining here. And there is the full-time whistle. A thoroughly entertaining evening here at the Peninsula Stadium. Seven goals shared. Salford who come out on top. They trailed by a goal to nil. Showing the short tie again. Manchester United the lead after seven minutes, but two goals in the space of three first half minutes had Neil Woodside into the lead. Those goals from Conor McElhenney and Matty London. Mori Forson and Shola Short tie put Manchester United into the lead, but two late penalties from Lund, enough to win the game for Salford. Winners here this evening by four goals to three.